Hello, and today I'm just going to talk about a new service which I, I just found out about, which is a very attractive alternative to Wufu, the form builder that I talked about before and I raved about. Now, I just want to make something completely clear. Because of trade-offs with this um because of trade off w- with this form website and because I've only just found out about it, I am still gonna stay on Wufu for the contact form on my website. But I just wanted to show you this because there are some compelling reasons why why you use this instead. So this is jotform.com and I'm on my account here. And I'm in the I'm in the my forms section. I've got a free account, but they do offer a premium service. Uh, and if we click onto that, there's the first advantage right there. It's cheaper than the Wufu premium service, and it's more um y- you get more with it than the bottom line YouTube premium service. But so that's the premium version. If we go back to the, my my account, so I'm just um, using the previous version here. We've got a handy little st- status section where we can see exactly how much of our free account we've used up. So you get a hundred submissions, which is this the same as Wufu and um yeah ten megabytes of storage space. You get free monthly payments which I I believe is only available in the um open part of Wufu. But you, you can add options for people to pay you and things. I just want to highlight that that is available on Wufu. You can check your reports and things like that. Um, but let's go ahead and create a new con, a new form, so I can just show you some of the functionality. Uh, right off the bat, you can select what type of form it is, and you've got all the all these options. And YouTube has a um sorry wufu the form building service which I've done a video on before um it, um has preset options but not not as much as this this has um things that you wouldn't normally uh consider a form like a, a wedding attendance form so to speak. But I'm just going to create a um, personal contact form um, to sh- show you how easy it would be to um, replicate this Wufu contact form that I have on my website. Like I was saying, that has a hundred submissions and it's just a nice form but that title comes in through Wufu so um, it looks different and, and uh, this is just an iframe so I can't really control any of the markup in in this and by the way I was just watching the video where I found out about this service um, so if we see how it'll be easy to match that I um click on the contact us template and we get we get um we get to select a theme which makes it really easy and I I just start with the dot the the drop theme because I feel like it's a really nice theme and then if we hit finish we get that already in it tells us what our required fields are. Now, 
we feel is quite smart, but nonetheless, we'd have had to drag those fields on. And it, that just gives us a nice contact form with sensibly, um, sensibly deducted required fields. It decides what's required. It it looks nice, has some nice correction, tells us lots of things about the properties, just like Wufu does, and we can add in extra things. Um, we can also change things, but because when you sign up for the account and only fill in four fields, all we have to do is go to the source and then and then we've got a, an iframe like we feel but we've also got a um a in a f form that's not an iframe a form that's actually in your website now this is really this is really really good because we feel only offer them a knife frame but if we look it's a table so it is kind of a trade-off but if we just um go and embed um the code into our page here and I'm just loaded right into WordPress and um, and we edit the contact page we see that's an iframe and I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet so I'm just going to put it next to the Wufu form just so that you can look at it um, it looks like it didn't copy um, but So as we can see less, as we can see right there, less code is included up front. Um, you could say it gives you more flexibility, but it also um, it also gets with a bunch of gets rid of a bunch of rubbish that you don't need um so it's kind of a trade-off and if we just preview it sorry about this guys so there's our wufu form And if we just open that, nothing's embedded. Let's go back. Into our... Um, and save it now if we refresh
and we'll, we'll get killed again. I don't know what's going on here. As you can see, you've got two options, but I'd rather not mess with the second option because it, it gives you all these options, but uh, there's all that embedded styling and there's, and there's, um, and there's, I'd rather just go through the the iframe. Um, and, this might not even work, but that, but that should be all you have to do. To make it play ball. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of compare the two services and wait and see if we can get um, two things kind of running side by side here. Um, to see if we can look at some comparisons. Anyway, that's not working. I tell a lie, it is working. It just needed a little time to populate. Um, th there's the first problem. It's in an iframe, but that's just because it um, needs a little time to populate. Now, let's compare the two forms. This form has a title defined, a title I'm logged into. That form has no title. This form has current selection. That form also has current selection. This form says which are required fields. This form also says which are required fields. And this form was quicker to build, but there's something wrong with this form. So take from that comparison what, what you will. Um, just have to decide which one's better. But I wanted to show you that resource. That's jotform.com. That's another option for building web forms quickly and easily. Thanks for watching.